Now, after understanding the basic arrangement in which the particles are arranged in the different crystalline solids and the different types of unit cells, let us now find out what exactly is the formula of a compound is. Remember, the formula of the ionic compounds is the simplest representation of the different particles or the different uh, the ratio of the, the atoms of the different elements which are present at different different locations of, in the unit cell. Like uh, how many of them are in actually forming the unit cell and out of these how many are in octavoids, how many are in tetravoids, how many of these are actually are in the phase centers, or body diagonals, etc. and etc. So, formula of a crystalline solid is the simplest ratio of the atoms of the different elements present in, that in one unit cell. In one unit cell. That's most important. Now, let us understand this by an example that a compound ABC has C in CCP lattice. All information will be given in terms of the, in, in the form of technical words, technical terms. Now, the C is in CCP lattice and A are occupying half of the octahedral voids and B is in 75% of tetrahedral voids. Find the formula of the compound. Now, we know from this information that the C is in CCP lattice. If the C is in CCP lattice, it means what? It is forming FCC unit cell whose Z is 4. So, it means what? the Z of C will be 4 because it is, it will be present at the corners as well as at the face centers. Similarly, now let us move to A. A is in octahedral void. We know since A is in octa, half of octa void, we know how many octa voids are there in FCC unit cell? It is equal to Z, 4. So, it is half of 4 which makes it 2. Now, let us talk about B. It is in 75%, 75 by 100 of tetravoids. And how many are tetravoids do we have in case of FCC? It is 8. So, it is what exactly? Uh, you can make out it is what? 3 by 4. So, it is 3 by 4 of 8. So, it comes out to be 6. So, what is the ratio we can have between A, B and C? It is what? 2 is to 6 is to 4. So, it is 1 is to 3 is to 2. So, the formula will be A, B3, C2. And this is what is the way we find out the formula of the crystalline solids.